Hey, Kim, will you show us how to arrange a song? Yes, sure. And keep it as simple as possible? Of course. Please. When this dialogue comes up at startup, you can pick a template as a starting point for a new song. The template includes empty containers for each song section that you can fill with phrases and harmony. Arranging a song basically involves three steps. First, you assign sounds to each instrument. Second, you put phrases in containers. Third, you add harmony. You may do that in any order and at any time, but basically these are the three things you do. I will begin with assigning my own sounds to the instruments. Just grab a preset or audio plugin from the sidebar and drop it on an instrument. Another tutorial shows all options for sound assignment in detail. For now, we will stick with simple drag and drop. Now let's put phrases in containers. We got some tutorials that show you how to draw or import phrases and collect your own libraries over time. For now, we will pick some phrases from example libraries. Sounds like Eurodance or something. Yes, this is pretty simple music to demonstrate the workflow. We will show more styles and songwriting examples at the end of this video. Okay. This is Sunfire Sparks, isn't it? Yes, this video shows Sinfire Sparks. There is another video that shows how to arrange a song with Sinfire Express. Express users should still watch on, because I'm not going to explain the basics all over again. Okay.
Okay, now I'm going to adjust the volume a bit. Now let's add some harmony. With Synfire, you have incredible many options to explore and build chord progressions. This is covered by other tutorials. For now, we will pick some from an example library. I will copy all phrases to the chorus now, so I can modify them there. Same for harmony. With popular music, it is common to use an only slightly modified chord progression in the chorus. I will scroll it around, switch to the parallel major key and double its speed. I want a new synthesizer phrase in the chorus, so I need to add a new instrument. To create a new instance of the synthesizer plugin, I will use the sound wizard this time. This will create a new instance of the Poly 6 plugin, because the other one is already used. Now I move the phrase to the new instrument. This will play it with a different sound. Now that the song parts are ready, I will refine the song and arrange a simple mix. For this musical style, a bridge as a separate part is not very common. Instead, you can simply alter the last chords to connect with the chorus. I will alter these two chords at the end of the verse. A very popular cadence goes from 4 to 5 to 1. I will use that.
The chorus starts with the tonic of its key. I use a suspended chord extension here. Let's listen to the bridge and see if it works. I'll copy all phrases and harmony to the second verse, so we can arrange what comes after the chorus. All instruments playing all the time is pretty bland. I will use the pause parameter to mute individual instruments and create some contrast and variety. Enable this link to edit the current parameter on the track sheet. Use the line tool to draw pause values. Click at the bottom zero line to mute an instrument. Click at the top to let it play. I want some instruments to start in the second half of the part. You don't finish the lines? No, Sinfire always remembers the last value. The chorus will emphasize the end with a short rest. Wow, you're pretty fast. Andre, I'm a machine. Machines can do that. The next verse will start with a short build-up. Now our song is done. Now for something completely different. This is exactly the same song. Only this time I chose different sounds and phrases. Again, we get yet another song, merely after replacing the phrases.
Isn't it beautiful? Thank you for watching. Thank you, Kim.